You are all probably wondering what is going on right here because there is hardly anything on my table. But if you've been around a while, you'll probably know that I am about to kit up a new diamond painting. Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. I hope that you're doing okay and your week is going well. It is going to be Thursday when you guys see this. So I am excited about that because it means that it's almost time for the weekend. So I know that it has been a hot minute since I've ever even done like a whip and chat or a kit up and chat or anything like that. And I haven't really shared a lot about what's been going on. And so it's definitely time. So today we're going to be doing a kit up and chat. Um, I am going to be kitting something up from a Jaded, Jaded Gem Shop. If you don't know, um, Jade and Anthony from Single and Placing are hosting together uh, the very first ever Jaded Jamboree. And I have plenty of Jade kits uh, to go around and it gives me an excuse to kit up another one and to do this one. Now, I was torn because I really didn't know which ones I wanted to do. So I put out a vote to my channel members. Um, so small plug. I do have a channel membership. Um, it would be amazing if you guys joined. I have three different tiers and the join button should be right above the title if you wanna check it out and see if there's anything that interests you at all. But anyway, um, I put out a vote to my channel members to help me decide. And it was a 75% to 25% um, to do this particular kit. Now, what kit am I going to be doing? I am going to be doing Hellfire. Now, um, I can't remember the name of the artist. Let's see if it's on the... It's not. Um, but I'm going to be doing Hellfire. I forgot the artist's name, but I um, absolutely love it. It will be in, you know, hopefully in this title, but it will definitely be in the description because I will link this kit below if any of you guys are interested. Um, I'm really excited about this kit for many reasons. One, um, Stranger Things is like my all-time favorite new show. And I am impatiently waiting for season five the next season to come out, which of course is not gonna be until next year, but better late than never. And hopefully by then I'll have this kit finished um, and hanging up in my house so that way I can be excited about it. So um, the diamond painting, which I don't have out right now, um, it's on my craft table laying flat, but I will tell you that I chose the 50 by 75 um, centimeter diamond painting and it has three ABs, and there are 45 colors. So, um, this kit is so confetti heavy, as is a lot of Jade's renderings, but it is worth like every painstakingly confetti heavy section for it to come out. So, anyway, moving forward, if you have never heard of a kit up and chat or a whip and chat is just where I either work on a diamond painting or in this instance going to be kitting up a diamond painting and you grab your project or do whatever you've got to do. You can Some people listen to it as a podcast um, and don't really watch. I know I do that. I listen more than I watch when I'm diamond painting and that way I can kick this up and kind of let you guys know what's been going on. Um, so anyway, here here is the image right here. Here's the legend. These are all um, peelable stickers right here. So I'm hopefully going to see which kit works the best, like which storage system. I have my Elizabeth Ward ones right here. So I'm probably going to use that particular one. Um, yeah, I'm not quite, not quite sure. So I'm going to have these two over here. I've got this, but the first thing I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna lay out like a lot of my uh, drills so I can kind of see the sizes I've got going on and to use them in like the, oh my God, I'm already dropping stuff. Appropriate containers. 
obviously these little itty bitty ones right here, I'm gonna push those to the side and fill those up last. Um, but I'm gonna kind of focus on more of the larger ones. But anyway, you guys, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I have a question. It's kind of gonna be like the whole, like, bas basically the whole theme, I guess, of this video. But um, why am I always so busy? Why? I, I wanna know why I am always so busy. It literally is just like insane to me why I'm always so busy. I'm gonna put the threes in one pile, the fours, and then the twos, and then the ones. That'll work for me. Um, I, I just, I seriously do not understand why I am so, so busy because I thought that like when Bella got her license and she graduated and all of that fabulous stuff that I would have so much more time to myself. Uh, granted, you know, I do have a, a law, I still have my commute, I still have that type of stuff going on, but seriously, you guys, I really thought that I was gonna have a lot more time and I don't. Um, I do have time for certain things like um, I moved all my appointments to the VA hospital so that's a lot more convenient for me. Um, things like that but I, I just like all of you I'm sure we do not have enough hours in our day. Like I'm literally probably gonna film this get it uploaded, maybe do some stuff while it's uploading. And before I know it, it's going to literally time for me to go to bed. Um, work is like hella slow right now. Um, so I have to really try to find um, things to occupy my time at work and not be too incredibly bored. There are lots of onesies right here. Some little onesies, some bigger onesies. But anywho, um, yeah, it's 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 crazy. It's so 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 crazy. But um, things are going well. There are lots of new things going on um, over here. Um, first thing I would say, my oldest daughter had her baby, so this makes great grandbaby number three, the last grandbaby. Um, I'm going, I'm actually going to be buying my tickets to fly out there very, very soon. So I am excited about that. Um, she had a boy and his name is Riley and he is super, super adorable. You know, the girls, you know, Rowan is a huge help because she's older. She's eight and Reagan loves her brother, but she is definitely, um, adjusting. Let's, uh, Definitely. Oh, see, good thing I'm. It's good thing I'm laying these out, you guys. All this nine three nine. Holy cow! You guys love like. So yeah, I'm. I'm super super excited about that. Um, I just was waiting. I just got my. Is these all nine? What is, oh, this is all three ten. Okay. Um. I just got my income tax, you know, my refund back. I just paid off um, one of my cars, AKA Bella's car. I'm gonna have to put this 310 like somewhere else Let's over here so I don't get it. I'm gonna move this back. Um, so that was really, really awesome as well because who doesn't wanna pay off their stuff, right? Because I know I do. All right, so we're definitely going to be doing, let's do the 939 first. Um, yeah, you guys, I'm just, okay. I haven't done one of these in so, so, so long. So I'm just going to grab it and go. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be going, I'm going to be going for a while. And um, she lives in Ohio, which means I got on the horn, meaning Instagram, and got a hold of Lori from One Fun Diamond Painter. So if you guys have not checked out Lori, you have got to. She's literally the sweetest, like, 
person ever. She's absolutely amazing, and I'm super, super excited to meet her. But on top of that, um, going to meet, you know, going out to Ohio, um, my, this year is my 30th. Oh my goodness. Now you guys are going to see me make a mess. This is my 30th reunion, my high school reunion, 30th. And so this year I am going, um, we have like a class reunion page on Facebook, like a group and stuff. And a lot of us, you know, kind of stay up to date and everything. And my very good friend, Carrie from high school, Carrie Kate, um, she's kind of organizing the whole thing, which is crazy because she's like not even in New York. She's in Florida. But um, I'm excited because I'm actually going to get to go. It's kind of be based over like the weekend. So I think the first night is just like meeting at a bar, which I'm like, oh, okay. But I'm still gonna go because you know, I'm not, I, I don't drink. And especially if I'm driving and especially if I'm driving my mother's car, um, yeah, I'm not drinking at all. And then the next day, one of the old, he's a, he was a teacher, but he's also, the, he's, he was also the basketball coach, uh, Mr. Bianchi. He is going to be giving us a tour of the high school. Um, I actually was back in 2018 for Christmas and I took Bella to my high school, which now has a pool. So that way she could kind of do like her travel set, her coach set up for her. So she wasn't going like the entire time uh, without, oh my God, are you guys even in flipping frame? There we go. Um, so she wasn't going the entire vacation uh, with no practice, which of course, you know, she was less than thrilled about, but I was like, girl, it was twice. But it was just really cool that she got to go, you know, see my high school and kind of check it out. And then um, I'm not really quite sure. And then I think Sunday is just like a catch up and like chill out day. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be going to that. I'm not quite sure like when, like how long I'm going to be staying or like what my actual plans are going to be. But I just know that I am going. So, um, what else is going to, oh my God, I'm like literally dropping stuff everywhere. Um, <clears throat> I'm also trying to decide because I kind of roughly priced things out because I was like, I'm going to go from California to Ohio, then Ohio to New York. And then, um, I don't know if I was going to go back to Ohio for a little bit or, and then go back home to California, or if I'm just going to go right home, um, like right home from New York and not go back to Ohio because you know that is a lot of traveling and um, yeah, it's a lot of traveling, a lot, but it, that's okay. So I'm trying to decide like, if I do that, then I might just get three one-way tickets cause it's kind of like the same, but my God, the times to leave, like I'm not so worried about like leaving California. I'm probably gonna take a red eye, but like Gina lives, like an hour and some change from the Columbus airport. Um, and I'm just kind of like, Ugh. so it means I'm gonna have to get, you have to get up early and then be there, which is fine. Cause it's just gonna be me. Um, Bella was gonna take, I was under the assumption cause she told me that she was gonna take summer classes, um, but she opted not to. And I was like, okay, um, I thought you were going to. And she was like, no, because I guess she can't get the teacher she wants for a particular class. And she only wants this teacher and what have you. So I'm like, okay. And, you know, that's a whole nother story that we might get into if we have time. I think that's, that's all I'm going to push it for this one. And I'm only going to do one container at a time, I think. Um, cause I do have a lot of black cause I'll probably fill up like a whole nother one. So I'm actually going to finish putting the 939. I'm going to put it back in here. Um, and just fill up as I go. Does anybody else ever do that? So, um, let me do this. Get my 310 label ready. Um, yeah. So she isn't taking summer classes. But, um, 
that's a big but. She's not going to be taking summer classes. However, um, she does have to work. And, you know, these kids are depending on her. They don't, trying to find coaches, especially for like the little groups and everything, is really difficult. I mean, just finding coaches in general is just hard. It's really, really hard. Um, so I told her that if she was going to stay back, that I would fly her out uh, to her sister's for Christmas where she will have a break because they'll be on break from swim. So she'll have a break from work and a break from school. And uh, she was okay with that. You know, they'll be in preseason, like preseason workout for, for, you know, swim for herself. So she won't be really missing that much. So she was definitely okay with that. Plus I need someone to take care of the cats. So it's just going to be me. My parents, I don't know if they're kind of disappointed or what, but they're like, is it just going to be you? I'm like, yep, it's just going to be me, little old me. So I'm hoping also, because um, I'm on a diet, that I can lose some weight before I go home because I can't be looking funky at my reunion. Plus, I need to lose some weight. Um, and that's another thing. Um, I told my channel members, so I'm not going to tell you guys, like, like I'm going to make sure that there's a special, but, um, I did have to go shopping. I am going to a wedding, um, this weekend. Uh, my friends Joseph and Jeffrey are getting married, so I'm so excited about that. It's been a long time coming, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. However, I have nothing to wear because nothing fits me. And, um... Anyway, that was sad. So I went to the outlets, went head on over to Banana Republic. Not because Banana Republic is, I mean, it is kind of my aesthetic because they do have a lot of dark colors, but like in a way it's not my aesthetic. But um, they're always having sales and I was just mad because I did not want to, um, I don't want to spend money on clothes when I'm like bound and determined to lose weight. Um, I've lost like three pounds. So I'm like, oh, yay me. Um, my dietician that I'm talking to, she's like that. So I need to get a hold, which I forgot to call today and schedule, but I need to call and, uh, schedule a, uh, have my primary care schedule me for like to check my thyroid because when they did my blood panel, um, they didn't check that. Um, also, I guess my insulin level, I'm not quite sure, but something's got to go. So, Bryant got to get on the Wagovi shot. He has also had the same doctor forever. Um, I thought that they put me on Ozempic, but the diet, this other, not my normal dietitian because she's on maternity leave. I got this other lady, and I'm not really a fan of her at all. Um, she's like, no, it's not available. And I'm just like, damn, like, I'm telling you, I don't know how it is for you guys in the public, like for your private health care or whatever you use. But let me tell you, when it comes to military or the VA, I'm just happy the VA is one step above military health care and they like give you more than just Motrin and tell you to have a nice day. You could walk in carrying your arm. And the military will be like, mm, here's some Motrin and um, like two days light limited duty and that's it. And you can go back to work because you're okay. And there's freaking all this static. Of course, did I bring a dryer sheet with me? Of course I didn't because over on the other table, but it's not too, too bad. So I'm just going to do that and find this. And again, I am just going to fill up one black. Maybe I should do two. That's a lot. Damn, that's a lot of black. That is a lot of black. I'm going to do two because this is just so much black right here. So I'll have to mark this with 310. But of course, do I have a pen with me? I surely... That's Ivy, you guys, if you uh, heard her. 
because, you know, she's got to announce herself all the time. She's trying to get the boys to play with her, and they are not, they're not down. They're not down. But anyway, um, I found something to wear. Do I feel like cute in it? No. Am I going to suck it up and deal with it? Sure am. I definitely, definitely am. Because it's for my friends. I still need to get them a card. Ugh. And they have a registry and everything, but I'm just, we're just going to put cash in the card because, and let them pick out what they want. Um, because it's just easier all the way around, I think. Um, and then I'll have, you know, I just, and plus I procrastinated because I was just in my mind before I even knew they had a registry. I was like, oh, um, I'll just give them, I don't know. So I'll just give them cash. So that's what I'm sticking with. So, on top of that, um, things have been a little stressful in the house. Not anything bad, but, you know, Bella. And not in a bad way, but ma'am is, ma'am is stressed. So, next week is conference, and that's basically like for high school, you don't have Valley or your, your championship. Now, not state, that's after conference or like a league meet or however you guys, if you're familiar. So um, she's been working her butt off and they are tapering right now. So I'm not exactly sure how tapering, like I think they're doing like less yards, but the same intensity, I'm not quite sure, but they're doing like this different type of lifting until Monday and then they're not lifting at all. Uh, it starts next Thursday. I already have a slip-in for work because I will be officiating at this meet. But, of course, um, I didn't pay attention. Well, I'm glad I looked at my calendar and my reservation, or else I would have been, like, borderline, like, homeless if I had gone up Wednesday night. But I had also, you know, said that I would be available to do the last high school meet for Hanford West for Bella's old high school. So I actually started packing. I'm just waiting to hear back from the um, meat referee if we are in blue pants or khaki pants because technically when you are doing short course or yards, you're in blue pants, and but that's normally in the winter. Now with USA swimming, um, even though with high school, your short course, but it's, it's, it gets warm here in California. And there have been times that we have, um, been wearing the tan pants. So I have to make a long story short. I need to figure out, uh, find out what pants color we are wearing. So I know what to pack. Get my white shirts all ready. I already checked the weather. Um, and it's going to be lovely, not too hot, not too cold. And it's like 78. So I will be very, very comfortable. Um, but yeah, Bella is, she really wanted to swim the 400 IM because she wants the record. However, um, that is right before the 100 fly. And she's trying to break that record, which hasn't been broke since 1997. So she's stressed out about that. She's stressed out about her relay. I'm just like, ma'am, like, there's only so much you can do. Just do your best. Like, you will be amazing. Oh, goodness gracious. I really need to get um, a dryer sheet because this is getting on my nerves. I also really need to invest in some sort of funnel. Um, but with the static, the funnel drives me crazy. So this is the last, though, of the black. I am going to be putting in the container, but if you could just give me a second, I will be right back. All right, I am back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm gonna label this with one of my labels because clearly writing on that is not going to work. So that is why it's important, you guys, to save your extra labels. But anyway, um, yeah, so I just told, I know she'll do amazing. She's just 
like all people, especially teenagers, they all get in their head about something. All right, I'm gonna take this 310. And I'm going to attempt to put it back in the bag. All right. So I guess we'll start with these larger, I don't know, these larger ones. I don't know. Let's we'll see. Oh, good grief. So, um... I'm, look, I'm just glad the weather's good and it's finally, like, calming down. Oh, I hope this fits. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, Lucifer. Lucifer is... Stop. Lucifer scratches at the window, you guys, and it drives me insane because his little nails... Lucifer. Lucifer. Sorry, you guys. Um, oh, there's a bug in here now, too. But anyway, I'm just glad that the weather is warmer because with me being outside a lot, um, I'm not about that cold weather life. So I hope that all my friends back east are getting some warm weather and you're not too cold. Um, speaking of weather, um, who, my friends back east, who uh, felt that earthquake? That was insane. I'm telling you, oh my God. Telling you guys, that was absolutely insane. Um, I heard from Christopher and Maritza. They were like, holy cow, what is going on? Hold All right, on. I had to shoot, I had to seriously shoo him out of the window because he was he was trying my nerves. Seriously, like that was too much. But anyway, I hope that everyone is okay. Um, I know that there was no infrastructure or really any damage, but for those that are not used to earthquakes, it can be really, really, really scary. Like, really, really scary. And all the ones I've been in have been very, very mild. They haven't been crazy or anything like that. So I am very thankful for that. Oh, I didn't even see all this other 154. Well, I'm not going to squeeze it in there, so I guess this goes over here again. Okay. I'm not very good at this. Like, this kidding up. Like, I seriously... Like, I'm good at kidding... Like, I can kit up. I'm not good at talking and kidding up at the same time. I seriously, am not. it's just like too much going on. But I did, I just wanted to share with you guys. But anyway, I hope everyone is okay, like mentally, if you encountered or had to deal with that, because I know it's nerve wracking. It's like insane. So my father said he did not feel it. Um, but a lady at his shop, she was at the grocery store down the street and she said that the whole place shook my dad's like well i didn't feel nothing um and then uh i guess my mom felt it but i haven't talked to her since then so i haven't really heard her side of whether she did or not so but they're okay and that's what's important um so i hope all of you are okay um so yeah, I'm gonna get my plane tickets. I'm be doing all this swimming stuff. Um, what else? Oh, um, so far so good with the channel. I'm not gonna go too, too much into that because I don't want you guys to be all like, this freaking lady right here keeps talking about stuff and I don't want you guys to get sick of it at all. Um, so, what has been going on with you guys? Tell me down in the comments. Like, I know it's been forever. I know that, like, I keep saying that, oh, I'm going to get better at this and I'm going to do this more often. But, like, I don't always feel like what I have to say, like, people want to hear. And you guys say you want them. And so I do my best. I really, really do. Um, but... 
I guess you can't be good at everything, can we? But anyway, um, what else was I going to tell you? I told you about freaking work, and work is work. Um, I was home two days with a migraine, um, and the cats decided they would want to destroy the house. So while I was laying there ailing, then I couldn't find my um, headache pills. Um, I know I had thrown out a bottle because they were expired, and I didn't want to accidentally take it if I like wasn't paying attention because if we get because we get uh, drug tested at work and if it was expired, like I didn't want to get in trouble uh, because it's literally like a controlled item. And that would have really not been fun at all. So, of course, I'm dying and the ibuprofen I'm taking is not really doing anything at all. What a, what a surprise, right? And um, lo and behold, the second day I was home, I found a brand new bottle with a good expiration date. But it's too late. So today was kind of, I'm glad we didn't really have much going on at work because I was really like slow moving and it always takes me a while. Like how many of you, do any of you guys suffer from migraines? Like do they knock you out? Like this one was bad. Like this one I was like hurling. Um, so my eyes were still puffy today when I went to work, but I just dealt with it. Lucifer. But yeah, the cats, they broke a lamp. I probably could have put that in a smaller container. Let's see. Ooh, let's do. Oh, you guys, I should have used a bigger one for this one. 3371. But guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some of these other ones out and put this larger one in. How about that? 3371. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to pay attention. I'm just totally scatterbrained. But anyway, all, 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 all is good, right? One, two, three, four. So I, I recently had done like a D-stash, right? And I still have a few kits available. You know, if there's anything you're looking for, hit me up. I might have it and forgot and willing to let it go. Um, but I've really been um, kind of taking it easy on the buying. Um, it may not seem like that, but a lot of the stuff that you guys are seeing I've had or... I'm just trying to like knock out some of these kits that I've had for quite a while. So I'm working currently on a whip I brought over from last year. Um, I had actually really started it towards the end of the year and it's from Diamond Dot Artistry. And I forgot the artist, but um, it's the never ending story. So it's the Childlike Empress and Falcor. And I am plugging through it, you guys, confetti and all, because that literally is like my childhood. That is like one of the best movies like ever made. You know, Jim Henson is a freaking like a genius. Because I'm pretty sure Jim, did Jim Henson do that or did he just do Labyrinth? I can't remember. But anyway, Jim Henson is a genius, period. And... I was wondering, like when I was trying, like when I first started working on it, I, I'm not quite sure if I did a whip and chap or not, but I was trying to link the kit below in the whip and chat. And it was like coming up all weird and saying it wasn't, the network wasn't secure and the site wasn't, and I was like, oh my goodness. So, all right. And then I tried to tag it, tag it in my Instagram post. And it wasn't working either. So I was just like, what the heck is going on? Well, I found them, you know, I found them on Instagram. And I saw, I scrolled back a bit and saw that at the beginning of the, this year that they closed. 
which is sad because it's always sad when a small business, you know, tries to make it and the cards, you know, they're not dealt the greatest hand of cards and they have to close their doors. And so that made me really, you know, kind of sad. They had a lot of really cool and unique art. Plus, like, I feel bad working on a kit and showing that that you guys aren't going to be able to get, so that people aren't going to be able to you know, get or anything. Um, not that that's anything new, really, because it's the same thing when I show anything from DIY Moon Shop, right? It's literally, you know, it's unable. I probably could have used a ding dang this one, right? I am a mess today, but I do not have a calibrated eyeball, so it's all good. I'm getting thrown off, I think, because these are like the tinier bags. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I might like start with these smaller ones and move forward. But anyway, um, yeah, so that was kind of a bummer. But what are all you guys working on? Do you have any goals for this year? I know I am so far so good. I feel like I am sticking to my goals of not really buying and like literally trying to knock out um, these whips. I know I have knocked out two or three, I believe, that I carried over from last year. You know, I still have a bunch, but... Um, yeah, I definitely, you guys, I could have so used a smaller container for this. I feel like I waste, was very wasteful, but that's okay because I'm going to take this and move this and be like this. I'm going to get my bag because Lucifer was in it and knocking stuff out. But anyway, what are you guys all working on? What are your goals? And I'd also like to know, what do you guys want to see from me? Um, sometimes it's just really, you know, it's difficult for me to think of content that you guys would want to see because I don't want you guys to get bored or be like, oh my God, this freaking chick, all she do is show the same thing. Like I'm trying to expand. I'm trying to broaden uh, things. Um you know, I do have some events coming up with Christopher and Maritza. Um, if you guys don't follow them, you really should too because um, they're amazing. So I th in May, next month, we are hosting a Yumi Art event. Um, that's really more, I don't really have, like the details will be coming for that soon. Um, I'm not doing, I don't usually head that up. This is like the first time ever that we have... Um, done that, done this event, it'll be the first one ever. So I'm not quite sure of all the particulars. And then um, we have another one. I forgot what we're doing though. But then of course, you know, come August is the Rude, Crude and Nude event that the three of us host as well. And this year is going to be, um, you know, bigger, and better than last year. So every year we try to make it better. So this year I'm gonna try and get some sponsors, um, some more prizes. It's still gonna be a laid back event, so don't worry, there's not gonna be like a ton of rules and all this craziness going on. Like, but um, there are going to be some changes just from some lessons learned. We're gonna be running that over on the Rude Crude and New Facebook group. Um, so if you haven't already signed up or come and join that Facebook group, you're more than welcome to. We keep it open all year round. So it should be a lot of fun. Okay. I'm going to take, I'm going to take some of these small ones right here and start working on these small ones. So three, seven, Five, zero. Let's try this one. It's the first one that I grabbed. Oh, my sticker sheet. I love these pre-cut labels. Like, I think Jade has the best pre-cut labels. She does. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Jade's shop, I'm telling you, she always has a sale going on. She always has a sale. Um, and there's, 
She has a huge, I mean, she has thousands, thousands, you guys, of um, kits to choose from. And so she's kind of doing like a special two for summer with the masters. So if you want to get your kit for that, if that's something that you enjoy doing, um, I don't dislike it, but masters, old masters, they're, they're beautiful. They really are. And there are a couple that I actually really like, but, um, very, very few that I would hang in my home. And I'm saying very, now I do have one and it, is absolutely stunning from Jade uh, Gem Shop. And if I remember, I will link the, I will link that uh, video below for you down in the description so you can check out. It's probably my largest diamond painting that I own to date. It's probably the most confetti heavy diamond painting I have owned to date, but it will definitely be a long-term project. Um, yeah. So, question. What do you guys think of this, All right? So, Bella's birthday is in May. And um, I want to do something different with her. Like, it's always been over Memorial Day weekend. We have usually always have had a swim meet. She's going to be 19. Um, I ended up instead, we were supposed when she graduated high school, I was going to take her on a trip to anywhere that she wanted to go. Well, with family coming out for her graduation and especially, and me flying her sister and my grandkids out, um, that was kind of pushed to the wayside a little bit because, um, instead of buying us plane tickets, I spent the money to fly her sister and everybody home and used up my vacation for that, which I'm, trust me when I say, I am not complaining. I'm just, you know, using that for reference. Um, right. Of course, with all her swimming right now, I definitely don't have the vacation to take her on a destination trip like originally planned. I originally wanted to. Um, so I thought, even though it's Memorial Day weekend, it might be a little bit more expensive. There's probably going to be traffic and crap like that. Since it is a long weekend, um, I thought about taking her away for the weekend, um, somewhere, somewhere besides freaking Pismo or Avila, someplace that's different, but like far. Now I'm not trying to drive all the way to like Arizona, um, or something like that. It would definitely be in California. You know, I'm not going to take her to Las Vegas because she's only going to be 19. So that's kind of like pointless um, to do. But Flagstaff would be cool, but it's also kind of far. Palm Beach or yeah, Palm Springs. I mean, not Palm Beach, wrong state. Um, Palm Springs, you know, that's, that's a far drive also. Freaking Ivy. And so I don't know. I'm just kind of trying to figure it out. San Diego's kind of far also just for that long weekend. And I already know that that traffic is going to be insane, like beyond insane to the point where I don't want us to spend our entire weekend in the car, if you know what I'm saying. That would just not be pleasurable. I wouldn't want to spend my birthday that way. It kind of seems like all of us have shitty birthdays. Like, mine's two days after Christmas. Bryant's is the day after Valentine's Day. Bella's is Memorial Day weekend. It seems like Gina has the only good birthday. It's like the 13th of November. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to pause this real quick. Bella just got home. So I'm actually going to run that idea back to her. And then I'll get back to you guys to see if it's going to even be worth your time. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back. Sorry about that. I was just chatting with Bella. It's the first time I've seen her all day. So, and of course, I've just been kidding up all along too. So sorry about that. Um, 
I haven't gotten to, you know, I'm doing okay. This is what I have Ooh, so far. Let me back up a little bit. That's so close. Okay, there we go. So this is what I have done so far. So I still have, I still have some, uh, a bunch of labels still to go. So um, let's see. They were talking about what we want to do for dinner. And I have some, while well, this video is uploading, I have some stuff chores and stuff to do. So I'm probably just going to order pizza. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do that. It's going to be nice and simple. I probably should have already done it by now, but I forgot while I was doing some of my other stuff and then I was like, oh, let me get this ready. And you guys just know how it is. The time, never enough time. That is the theme, right? So anyway, um, I have been thinking, so um, I'm not sure if you guys know, but on Facebook, there is a um, Facebook group that's dedicated to diamond painting retreats. And um, I know that a lot of people, including myself, would love to be able to go to a, a, a retreat. Um, but a lot of them are really far, and I'm all the way on the West Coast. A lot of them are happening in the Midwest that I have seen so far. Actually, there's one that uh, Life with Lindsay is doing with Kevin's wife from Kevin's Creations. That's going to be in the Harrisburg, Harrisburg area in Pennsylvania, the 2nd through 5th of May. So if you want to go on over to uh, the Retreat Facebook page, or if you... Um, go over to uh, Life with Lindsay's Facebook page. Um, you can kind of get some more details and information about that and cost, if that is something that you're interested in. Um, I'm not sure how many uh, seats are available left or are, how many seats are left um, at the time of this recording. But if you're something that you're interested in, it's something definitely to check out. With that being said, next year, 2025, that is, I am thinking about um, hosting one out here in California. Now, I have no details. Like, don't come for me. Like, it's just an idea. Next year is when I would be able to do it. Um, definitely not this time, not that time, this time this year. Um, and I have, you know, some people to help. Um, <clears throat> but I just think that would be a lot of fun, especially for those of us out here um, in California on the West Coast where I really haven't seen, what is this, 3863, haven't seen any. So definitely I will be keeping you guys posted about that um, once I figure it out and get some more information. I think it will be a lot of fun because um, I know one of these days, it's just so hard with like my family all spread out through the United States, my parents in New York, my grandkids and daughter in Ohio, and then Bella's schedule. It's just like trying to come and visit everybody is insane and I get like 30 seconds of vacation a year so I have to kind of use it wisely or I just take like no pay whatever because I don't care I don't I need my personal time right I need a better work-life balance but anywho you guys um what else is going on oh so in June of this year um you know, Brian and I, we really like going to concerts. And um, I'm going to put this one down here. I'm starting to run out of room. Oh, my God. Um, and there's this way. I probably already talked about this. I forgot about all of these little, like, threes and stuff. Um, we're going to a concert. I already talk about this. I already talk about, um, anyway, there's this like new, like goth band. They're like, like post punk goth really, um, called vision video. And 
I am like obsessed. Um, the lead singer Dusty, or on TikTok known as Your Goth Daddy. He's a hey baby bats, it's your goth daddy. Um, anyway, he used to be an infantry officer in the army and then got out and then he was a paramedic or an EMT, I believe. I don't know if there's a difference. And then he stopped doing that. So now he is a musician full time and I am literally like obsessed. Well, I'm pretty sure I already talked about this. But anyway, um, we're going to go to LA down at Echo Park. So I'm super excited about that. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with that, um, so it's near like Westlake, which is kind of by like USC and Koreatown. So I'm excited about that too. Um, cause I can get some ramen and, um, anyway, Voltaire, which is like folk goth music, like folk, folk goth music. That's it's his music is really, really fun and I like it. So we're going to be going down there to see. Oh, I think I already put this in a container. Ooh, 3-3. No, I didn't. Oh, here it is. 3-3. No, 3-7-7-1. I did. Where is it? Three seven seven one. Where the fuck is it? Oh, pardon my French. So I put it in numerical order. So we we'll do. Oh, this is not right. Ooh. Did I put the wrong, oh my God, did I put the wrong one on here? <gasps> okay, you guys, Um, I need to pause this. Okay, I am back, so I know, I know what I did wrong. So, I got three, three, seven, three, seven, seven, one mixed up with three, three, seven, one. So I'm gonna just keep that to the side along with these drills right here and figure out what is left and that's probably going to be my um, answer right there. See, I told you guys I am not that good at this. I am not. So these little fatter bags, because I have some, sm I still have small ones, so I'm gonna start using these fatter bags just to make my life easier. So anyway, um, yes. So if you guys have not checked out Full Tail or Vision video, like just, Give it a really quick, like, listen to. Um, I really, 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 really love the music. So I am excited about that. Okay, 413. So I talked to Bella during the break, and I asked her if she just wants to go away for the two of us. So she is down for it. So I'm very, very excited. Um but we just have yet to figure out. So I'm just gonna get on my little, um, get on there and kind of figure out someplace fun and different for us to go to, run it by her and book it because that will be so much fun. I'm very, very excited, some mom and Bella time. <sighs> I am starving. Like, I don't have, I hate dieting. It used to be so easy, and now that I'm older, it definitely is not. But I am determined. I am so, so, so determined. What do you guys think? Are, and I'm not exercising. Like, I'm not against people who do exercise. I am all for it. Why do not I not ex now? Okay, if my life depended on it, yeah, I would absolutely exercise. But why do I not exercise anymore? Or like, why don't I exercise for the fact of losing weight? Um, because I exercised enough over the last twenty something years. Um, when I was a probation officer, I had to exercise. When I was in the Navy, I had to exercise. So I am literally done exercising. And can you blame me? 
I just know I am active enough at work, people. Like, I that is the last thing I want to do after I'm been climbing around a helicopter all day and being active and walking all across the flight line and everything. I mean, do you blame me? Seriously. Well, you guys, that is about it for me. Um, I really need to finish this up and I am having the literal worst time trying to stay focused. I do apologize and this is why I don't really do whip and chest, but some of you guys actually like this crazy hot mess of a freaking video. Maybe now you guys will be like, mm, you know what, Miranda, don't even bother. But stay tuned. I will definitely let you guys know where um, Belle and I decide to take our little Memorial Day weekend trip to. And I think it's going to be so, so much fun. Definitely someplace fun. There are so many different places to go. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, if you know that's relatively close, because you know I am not far, I'm not going to Tahoe. It's too gonna be too crowded. Donner Pass is going to be freaking nuts. She's not old enough to drink. I do not drink. So like Paso Robles and Pace like that, that's just not really our jam. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I don't really want to waste like a lot of time. I mean, I guess we could fly somewhere because it's if it's close, it'll be cheap. So I'm not opposed to that. But if you guys have any like suggestions or anything like that, Go ahead and let me know and put them in the comments because I am totally down for it. So, you guys, um, I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I hope that it was okay. Um, thanks for coming and spending some time with me. If you haven't already subscribed and you like this video or want to see many of the other much better videos that I have, um, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And please, on your way out, if you could please like and share, that would is a really awesome um, way to help support the channel for free, and it really, really helps me out. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. I hope you have a great weekend, and I hope you will follow along on my progress for this and see Hellfire and Eddie evolve. So until next time, my friends, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.